I'm checking uh, the drops I get from the racer range finder with this uh, this is the rounds I'm gonna use for hunting deer the barns out of the 6.5 Creedmoor and uh, I got a, a an 8 inch plate there at 550 yards it's calling for 2.3 mils I haven't shot this rifle in I don't know months so let me see uh, What's going on with it? I gotta get it. Matching here. So I'm gonna use it. The season opens in two weeks. So, I don't know. I dial the elevation and you know how they say Hold left edge and send it. We'll see what happens here. 550 yards. Okay. All right, that'll help. <clears throat> Cold board, see what happens. <laughs> Damn, almost dead center on the plate. So, and that's cold bore, which that's what you want. This is the first shot that counts when you're hunting. Do one more. It is. Last one. The one I used too many of these barns bullets. Again, left edge. Well, that one I missed left. Let me send one more. Maybe it caught a little wind there. I'm gonna come in two inches from, from the edge of the plate. There it is. All right, fuck it, I'll shoot five. But yeah, this will kill Bambi all day. It is. I don't think I need to mess with it. The range finder is giving me the right call. I have different bullets with this rifle. Same bullet weight, but These are not, um, these are not, um, what do you call these things? Not copper bullets, but I'm gonna try them. See if they fly the same as the others. This is the Springfield Armory, the Waypoint 2020. Really beautiful action, super smooth. All right, I'm not gonna change anything. See if these bullets go to the same place. Oh, that went low. That means this might be a little slower, maybe. Let's see again. No, it was just me. I held too much left. There 
They landed right there in the center too. Not that one. This do have a little more pressure. Maybe this bullet I need to back down. It's weird because usually the copper bullets is the one with the pressure. Let me hold center. Ah, it's right there. I think it's the, this bullet has a lot more, it's a better BC than the uh, copper bullet. So I don't have to hold left edge. I just got a whole center plate and I get my heat, but they're hitting, they're hitting perfect in the center there. There it is. I need brass. So I'm gonna shoot five more so I can get some brass to reload more Barnes bullets. And also by, by now the the barrel is pretty hot now. Last five. Try again. There it is. I missed that one. There it is. Yeah. Oh, I got one more. Well. If I miss a deer, it's on me, not the rifle. Good enough for me. That'll work. Yeah, these do have a little more pressure than the barns. Weird. <clears throat> so I have this. Oh shit. This this shorty uh the Daniel Defense, 14 and a half inches. <laughs> I got a pretty fast load, loaded up here with H335. With the 16 inch rifle is going at about 3,007. This one's going about 925. <clears throat> Just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna see if I can hit it. <laughs> 550 yards with a six power scope. Uh, let's see here. Let's try that. Let's try that. <sighs> oh shit. That plate looks tiny, tiny. At, on six power. It's an eight inch plate, man. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, went left. Try again. Whoa, that's way high. Damn it. This thing is fast. Let me take out half meal. See what happens. Still a little high and it's going left. So let me hold right edge. The wind must have switched. That was real close. Real close. I believe that was a hit. That was too much. I don't know. I can't tell. The the crossers are literally covering up the damn uh, plate. I think I got one hit, but I mean I should be able to hear it or or see the plate move. It's only ammo, right? Let's try it again. Needs more. Too much. Not a lot of, not a lot of information on the crosshair. It's pretty plain. It's hard to figure out where. Not enough. Too much. <laughs> Looks like it may be not enough magnification for that range and then uh the crosser only has a half milk marks so it's it's pretty wide the holdovers so you see the the target dancing in, in clean air where there's no marks and you're just guessing it. Try it again, fuck it. There you go. a little low <laughs> it is it's hard man I have no bobble nothing here for reference this is a short range weapon 200 yards and in shooting people shooting coyotes Ah, <laughs> you guys heard that? <laughs> Woo, getting it done <laughs> with a six power <laughs> Vortex PST Gen 2. Hey, I got a few rounds on it. Good enough for me. I know that much. If there was a guy, I would hit it. The guy's a lot bigger than that plate. Got three left, see what happens. Hit. <laughs> I 
I'm fucking it up now. Not that one. Not bad, Frank, not bad. <laughs> I'll take that, man. 2.6 for 550 yards. Damn, man, that's pretty flat. Yeah, coyotes at 200 yards with this thing, they're in big trouble. All right, let's go home. So I was just shooting there on top of the ridge line, right where the road comes over the top, right there. 550 yards to these two plates. Not bad, man. Look at this, is an eight inch plate. Several rounds with a little 14 and a half inch. Daniel Defense, man, with a six power scope. Shit. That's not bad. And this is the Creedmoor. That's all dead deer right there. This is all the copper rounds here. See the different color on the copper? All these rounds, and the other ones are the regular lead rounds. That's a nine inch plate across, so all that would land on the reefs of a, on a deer in a reef cage. It was dead Bambi all day. This was my first round, cold bore. Haven't shot that rifle in two or three months. That's a good feeling, man, when you can get that kind of results. Go home, have a beer. Look at what's left of the copper rounds I was just shooting. These things are leaving at 3,007 feet per second on the barrel. It's the back of the bullet. Pretty crazy, huh? When they impact on steel at high velocity. Little copper pancakes, man.